Welcome back to Great Day Live with warmer weather returning this spring season. It's time to get back to caring for your front lawn and grasshopper mowers are making that easier for you. Joining me now on how to pick the perfect mower for you is Jeff and Alice Lanters. How are y'all doing? Hey, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I love the name. I want to start off with that. I love the grasshopper mowing. So tell me about your company. How did y'all get started? Well, great. Grasshopper is a family owned company uh, based in, in Kansas and um, you know, we're, we're more known for quality, longevity, and durability. Yes. Uh, just a family owned company, our third generation is there now. And that's very important. And I think we always love a story about like a family owned business. That's always great to work with family. So tell me, how should we be preparing um, our lawns? I already know that I've been concerned about mine. What advice do you have for us? Oh, that's a great question. You know, uh, preventive preventive maintenance is probably the best thing you can do mm. and you know if you're if you're not one of those that's that's mechanically inclined then I would suggest that you uh, take it into an independent dealer which is where Grasshopper is sold only through his independent dealers and they're more than happy to help you. That's great and I know some of us try to do things ourselves but we need to leave it to the experts to you guys right so tell me how, how can you help us? Well, when, when you, if you can't do it yourself, then if you bring it to the independent dealer, they will be glad to service that machine and get it ready for you for the spring season to happen. And with that, you're less likely to have any uh, issues throughout the season. That makes sense. It seems like it will make it easier for at least somebody like me who doesn't know a lot about caring for their lawn, right? That is correct. Yes. yes. That's exciting. So what new products do you all have coming out this year? Oh, that's a great question. We have a great product that came out this past season. It's a stand on unit uh, that we've been working on for a number of years now. So we're always looking at trying to, to come up with new items and work on our ergonomics and, and just comfort and make things better for our retail customer. Wow, and let's touch back on the fact that it's a family owned business. What is it like working together every day? <laughs> Well, um, she helps me a lot with shows and things like that. Yeah. Uh, she's probably as knowledgeable as anybody about the machines. <laughs> we actually have to fight to, uh, to mow the grass at home. Oh, really? You know, <laughs> I, I have to call her and say, hey, I want to mow today. Yes. You know, and she's, well, I've already done it. That's amazing. So you, I know that you said that you all are based out of Kansas. So have you all been local to the Louisville area for a while or give me a little details about that? Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, well, we live outside of Lexington. Okay. Uh, that's where we're both from. Um, I'm responsible for the state of Kentucky and West Virginia. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do for the company and sales. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. And tell me some more. So if you have any tidbits for us, I know that we've been having some weather that's uh, a little unpredictable sometimes, but with that going on, what's some other ways that we can take care of our lawn just leading up to summer? Well, <clears throat> you know, the, the big thing is just getting your lawn prepared as, as far as treating it and, mm -hmm. and getting the, the uh, fertilizer and things like that down. But main, mainly you want to keep it mowed after you get all this rain, you want to keep it mowed pretty regular mm -hmm. to keep the grass down. Mow it at a tall height. A lot of people like to mow real low. Really? But the higher you mow it, the better it looks actually. Yeah, that sounds good. And this is a quick question, a little bit personal, but how do you know when it's time to actually like take up the grass? Like how do you know if it's, this is grass that can be treated or this is something that maybe you just need to, it, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you look out there and you see a lot of weeds, that's yeah. when you really need to do some kind of a treatment to it. Yeah, I'm starting so. to have a feeling that that's what mine's doing right now. Sure. But, and I think that y'all can help me out. So I'm super excited that y'all are here today. So if people want to learn some more information or get in contact with you, where's the best way for them to get that? They can go grasshoppermower.com. And we have um, a lot of tabs up there at the top that you can see there that will take you any anywhere you want to go. We have a lot of videos that shows you what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a lot of different machines. We're not just a, a summertime machine. We actually do snow removal oh, and, wow. and we have dozer blades and brooms and things like that. So we're actually a year round product. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. You all definitely want to check them out. So as he said, to find your mower, just head over to grasshoppermower.com.